Oh, those herbs smell so good. What have mm, we got there, Peter? Well, I just chopped them from the garden. <laughs> and this one right here is Thai basil. And Thai it's basil? Thai basil, yeah. Mm. Smell it. It's oh. got a licorice mm -hmm. smell to it. It's slightly it spicy and it's got this mm, licorice aroma in here. Beautiful. We've got some mint, fresh mint. I could smell spirit. that right away. Mm, I love that too. And fresh chives. Nice. Now, what does it have? this have to do with peaches and blackberries and strawberries? Well, we're going to make some chutney. Okay, So let's rip good. up some chutney. Okay, <laughs> so first, we just got to get my... You've only done that a few times, eh? Be careful doing this, folks. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got to... Okay. So not quite as ripe as we'd like, but we're going to go with it anyways. Oh. That's a sharp knife. So how, how thick or small or big do you want it for a chunk? Well, pretty you know, fine? Kind of, sort of somewhere in between. Just about like that is pretty good. Now, would you use maybe the less ripe fruit in a chutney because you know it's going to kind of soften up or you don't want to sacrifice the flavor? No, no, I want to use fully ripe fruit because okay. I'm not cooking this chutney. Oh, okay. This, 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 is, is, this is more like a salsa. I was going to say, what's the difference between a, what's the difference between a salsa and a chutney? I mean, what is the difference between a salsa and a chutney? Well, basically, it's cooking or not. Okay. You know? Salsa is generally raw and the chutney is generally cooked, right? Okay. So I guess we could call this a salsa. All right. Or chutney. Making... Depending Whatever on what day we want to call it. <laughs> but anyway, let's chop up some chives. Okay. I want to get these pretty nice and fine. I can almost just hold the bowl and it, it shoot right in. Yeah, you shoot right in there. There you go. <laughs> That's probably not right there. Okay. And you're doing this all by eye, by feel, by taste. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it's not an exact science and stuff. It's not like baking. I'm not a very good baker. I gotta admit, baking, you have to follow recipes and stuff. Right. You know? That's too hard. Okay, so we're gonna get some mint and some Thai basil in here. What are some mm -hmm. of the other ingredients that we're gonna wanna put in? Um, and then we're gonna throw in um, a, a little bit of honey and, and some um, um, rice vinegar. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. And yeah. so you're not cooking this up at all? No, no, I'm not gonna. Oh, and a little bit of hot pepper. Oh, yeah. Okay, That's hot good. peppers. Now, can I, I'll get those for you. They're over mm -hmm. here. Now, peppers are something that you're developing a passion for. Oh, I love peppers. You love the heat of them? I love the heat of peppers. You yes. love the hunt of them? I love, I love everything about peppers. <laughs> they're, they're, they're hot, they're flavorful, they're exotic. And I love using the world's hottest peppers. Okay, we're gonna talk more about the world's hottest peppers and what Peter is doing with them a bit later on. But right now we're focusing on some peach right. salsa so or chutney, whatever you wanna call now it. Now you have your choice of peppers. If you want to go really hot, you can go with this habanero pepper here, this orange habanero. If, uh, or these Thai peppers, and they were just about equally hot. Is it true that the smaller the pepper, the hotter it is? I've heard that. Uh, no, not necessarily no. because ghost peppers are some of the hottest in the world and they're actually quite large. Okay, and it's the seeds that the heat comes from. This, uh, the seeds and the, um, the, the white pithy stuff that's in the, okay. in the middle that, that's uh, the, uh, surrounding the seeds. Okay, now we're diverting because we're supposed to be talking, I think, about freezer jam and chutney. <laughs> but, so anyway, we're gonna take the top off this. So I'm gonna go with a slightly spicy I'm one. scared to touch it. I'm not yeah. even gonna touch so, it. You just cut that in half, right? I'm not even gonna try to take these seeds out. These nice little immature seeds would be very tasty. If you like spice. No. Very carefully, go like this. <laughs> Easy for you to do. Now, notice oh. I'm keeping my fingers like that. There's no way I'm yeah. gonna yeah. cut yeah. myself okay. like that. I think that's what people do when they're trying to pretend to be a chef. I know I've done that. I know what I'm doing. There you go, chop it up really nice and fine. Really fine, okay. Then that's going to be plenty. And would you let this sit and sort of stew? Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're gonna let and that brings sit. the flavors mm -hmm. out. Will the pepper actually draw the flavor out of the fruit, extract it a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. The flavor, the, they'll all marry together. The honey will draw it out, and um, and it'll all, it'll draw, a little bit of juice will come out of it. And how small it is. Mm, very nice. Good? And where would you put that on? Toast? Well, crackers? I would, like, for instance, um, if I was going to make a, um, a chicken breast, yeah. a baked chicken breast, oh, so good okay. with that. Nice. Or a, a blackened uh, snapper, oh. it would go very well, something like okay. that. Okay, excellent. Now we had talked about freezer jam, but we're tight for time. 
for this particular section, but you say it super, super quick. The super, okay, let's do it fast then. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> And um, one kind of jam you do it just with peaches? Would yeah. you put like blackberries let's, and peaches put, and everything yeah. into it? Let's go with the blackberries too. We're okay. just gonna take out this little bit, some little brown here. We're gonna take that out. No problem. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfectly. All right. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> throw it in here. Okay. I, ooh, it's already hot. It's already hot. All right. And. So you want some, and so you just put it in, in a, in a preheated yes. sort of totally. skillet pot. Totally. A little. A handful of blackberries. Yeah. You're going to put anything else in there? Yes, we're going to put in a little bit of honey. Honey, he likes his fresh honey. I do like honey. that honey. I keep losing my spoon though. I probably keep stealing it. Let's get another one. Oh, it's in there with the, okay, with the salsa. Okay. Yeah. One tablespoon. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. enough. And then you're going to just sort of sauce yes. that up. Yes. Sauce that up. For some reason, I'm picturing like sticking it in a freezer ba freezer baggie and putting it in the fridge. But I'm sure you're going to put it in some jars or little ice cube trays or something. Well, now all it takes is about two more minutes of cooking, and that's it. And then and you can put it in a jar or in a bag, throw it in the freezer. Put, put it in the in freezer the and then take it out, let it yeah. thaw naturally, and spread it on toast. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Wow. It'll thicken up a little bit. See, right now it's still got a little bit of moisture. Yeah. And you're just gonna like boil that for two, three minutes until it's the thickest you want it. So while the freezer jam thickens up through cooking, we're gonna throw things over to Rayanne LaPlante. She's spending some time with a father and son duo who have learned a lot about backyard chicken farming.